Good evening. I'm James Sherman with your 6 o'clock news. Police are on the lookout tonight for two burglars who broke into Webb's surveillance gear store in North Richland. The two men broke in through the store's front door with a crowbar and got away with approximately $10,000 worth of spy equipment, but not before being caught on 17 different security cameras in the store. Webb said that he's taken this robbery in stride and is pretty confident they will get caught. How safe is it in our parks? Two uniformed officers were held up at gunpoint in Riverside Park Saturday. 33-year-old Jermaine Washington pulled what turned out to be a fake handgun on two armed police officers as they walked through the park. Believing they were at gunpoint, the officers drew their real weapons. After a short but tense standoff, Washington surrendered and was arrested. An immigrant helped police with the war on drugs. Jose Guadalupe Flores helped police apprehend the owner of 15 pounds of marijuana. Deputies arrived at a house in Hildego County to find the door kicked in and 15 pounds of pot lying on the floor. While still on the scene, deputies were approached by Flores. Flores then told the authorities that two masked gunhead men had ransacked his house and stole 150 pounds of marijuana that he had been wrapping for shipment. Flores, who turned out to be an illegal immigrant from Mexico, was then arrested for felony drug possession and is being held without bail until trial. A theft that just doesn't add up. A man who tried to steal a cash A man who tried to steal cash from the Dunkin' Donuts outlet on Post Road on Monday night fled with an adding machine that he apparently mistook for a cash register. The police said an unidentified man walked into the donut shop and handed a clerk a note saying that he had a gun and a bomb and that he would use them both if he didn't get cash. The man then grabbed an adding machine, which had no cash drawers, from the counter and ran from the shop. The thief fled in a black Pontiac. This has been your 6 o'clock news report. Tune in at 11 for the latest news. James Sherman, signing out.